Hello everyone. Today I am going to show you how to use Firebase authentication system using Angular. So let's get started. First of all, make sure that you have already installed Angular CLI globally. Then open your terminal and write ng space new then your app name. Here the app name is Firebase Angular auth. Press enter here to skip as no. Now it will take some time to install all the dependencies in your project. Okay, so after completing, you have to write cd space uh, your app name that is firebase angular auth to enter into your project directory. Now you need to install some third party libraries that is firebase and angular fire. So for this you have to write npm space install firebase space at angular slash fire and then just keep uh, one flag that is save uh, so write double dash save and it will take some time to install the firebase dependencies to your project okay so now we have successfully installed the required third party libraries so now write code space dot to open vs code uh, into the same project directory so now if you just expand the ssc directory and inside the app folder you will get one file that is app module.ts so here uh, you have to just import some third party libraries and define into imports array so first of all uh, write import uh, angular file module and import it from at angular slash fire so now you need to just uh, import inside the imports array then write angular fan module dot initialize app and here you need to pass one configuration for this open your browser and open firebase terminal and create one project okay so turn off this analytics part and create that project so now you can get one web icon here just click on that and again you need to enter your project name and click on this button and then firebase will give one object that contains some configuration so copy that and paste it inside uh, initialize app that's it now go back to your uh, browser and click on that button now uh, on the left panel uh, you can go to authentication tab and click on sign in method and now you just need to enable the email password authentication option so just save it and switch to users so here uh, you'll get all the sign uh, all the users actually all right now i will need one home component file so write ng space g space c and uh, type home and it will create one home component so just keep with no option and then i i need one service file that is for firebase so for that write ng space uh, g space s space services slash firebase and it will create one services uh, folder and inside it it will create one service that is firebase so you need to just import it inside the providers array now just open that uh, firebase service file that is firebase.service.typescript yes and at first you need to just define one flag variable that is uh, is logged in and i am making it as false then okay so then i have to just uh, need one instance of fire uh, angular fire auth so i have to write public firebase auth colon the type is the class of angular fire auth so write angular fire auth and remember you need to import that from angular slash fire slash auth so write import angular fire auth 
from at angular slash fire slash auth okay so now uh, need to declare two methods actually three methods one for uh, sign in one for sign up and one for logout so at first i am defining the sign in method and this method will uh, receive one email and one password obviously the types will be string so now just write avid this dot firebase auth just call that instance and then write dot uh, sign in with email and password and i think you know that uh, sign in with email and password is a function of firebase service and it is already defined there so just pass email and password and as uh, it will return one promise i have to handle it so write this and then one arrow function and basically i'm going to uh, make that flag variable as true and also i'm going to store the value of user inside my local storage so that whenever i refresh my page i can just log in uh, without sending the response to my server so write local storage dot set item uh, the key name is user and i'm just uh, converting the json into string so writing json dot stringify and passing res dot user okay now for the sign up part i'm just copying the same thing and and i just need to rename the method name and also the default firebase uh, method that is sign in with uh, email and password to create uh, one user for that particular email and password okay now uh, finally i need one other method to handle the logout uh, under the logout actually so uh, write logout and here uh, to call that instance then dot sign out okay and it will basically uh, clear all the firewall uh, firebase cookies and all from your browser and also i'm removing the item uh, the local storage key that is user from my browser okay that's it from uh, the firebase service file now go to your app component HTML file and just uh, clear the all HTML part. And here I, I'm going to create one uh, division, and inside it I need two input fields and one button. So the types uh, of the input fields will be text, and here I'm giving the reference as email sign up and the uh, password reference as password sign up and finally declaring one button and uh, giving the button value as sign up and on click on this button i'm going to call one function that is uh, defined inside my uh, that i will define uh, inside my uh, typescript file that is app component.ts so on sign up i'll pass the value of email sign up reference and password sign up reference so after this i'm just uh, drawing one line and uh, i'm uh, designing the same but for this case uh, it's uh, sign in so i'll need again two input fields and giving the reference as email and password and finally on button click i'm calling one function on sign in and passing the value of email and password reference okay so after these two divs i'm going to declare my app component uh, app home component remember i have already created one home component before starting uh, the project 
so inside the home component i'm just uh, writing one para as uh, you are logged in and one button for logout and calling one function to logout and then i'm just uh, calling that component so now you need to go inside uh, app component dot TypeScript file to declare all those functions that you have declared inside app component dot html file so uh, at first uh, i'm declaring the flag variable as uh, is signed it and making it false and inside the constructor i had to import the firewall service i actually instantiate the firewall service so I'm making one instance of uh, Firebase service, writing public Firebase service, and the type will be the class of Firebase service. And uh, the lifecycle method, you know, that is uh, ng on it, on init actually. So inside the ng on it, in it, uh, I will check if the user from the local storage is there or not. So if the user is there. Uh, is not there I'm making the flag variable is true else I'm making the flag variable as false then uh, I will need one method that is on sign up remember I have uh, already defined uh, uh, already declared actually inside my app component dot html file so it will take one email and password as usual and the type will be string so inside it just write uh, avid and call that uh, firewall service instance and then dot sign up and just pass the email and password uh, taking from the html component and then just uh, write if this uh, dot firewall service that is the, uh, the instance dot is logged in and if it returns true then set the flag variable as true and just copy the same uh, method and just uh, change the method name finally write handle logout to handle the logout okay now uh, you need to go inside uh, home component dot file because i'm going to emit some events from this component so that i can call it from my root component that is app component dot ts or html so uh, you need to just write uh, at output and you need to Im import it from at angular code so write at output is logout equals to create one uh, uh, object of event emitter class so the type will be void okay now uh, declare the logout method so inside the logout method i'm just uh, calling that uh, so for calling that uh, function or service i to just uh, define it inside my constructor so inside constructor uh, write public and create the instance of firewall service class so write firewall uh, service colon firewall service the type will be the uh, class of firewall service and uh, remember you need to import that at the beginning of the file so inside that uh, logout uh, method just write this dot firewall service dot logout and it will basically clear all the uh cache all the cookies from your browser and then uh emit that event so write this dot is logout dot emit as uh, the type of uh, event emitter is void you, you don't need to pass anything so now uh, go inside uh, your app component dot uh, html file so here you have just emitted one event so write that so write the event name here so write is logout inside the single parenthesis and then call this method that is handle logout 
so that whenever that button will be clicked it will basically click that uh, handle lockout method and okay uh, now we have to go inside app component .ts file and make that uh, flag variable as false because it has been locked out okay now uh, what you have to do you need to handle the front end part that is whenever the user is logged in you need to show the home comp uh, home component and whenever the user is not logged in you need to show the sign in or sign up part so go inside your app component dot html file so at first uh, i'm just calling ng if so the ng if uh, basically check from the corresponding uh, typescript file and it will check from is signed in so whenever the user is not signed in it will show the sign up part and i'm doing the same with the sign in part and here remember when the user is signed in uh, only then i have to show that home component so i'm just writing ng if equals to is signed in all right now uh, if i just open my terminal and write ng space serve space double dash port and giving the port as 4321 it will basically run the angular server on port 4321 and you can also leave the command as only uh, ng space serve and it will basically run to your default port so it will take some time to compile all your dependencies and code and see it is giving just one error here so let's figure out those errors so here you can see i have given the references inside double quotation i just need to fix that now you can see the server is running perfectly so if you just open your browser to port 4321 localhost and you can so uh, see that it's working perfectly so at first uh, all you need to do is you need to just sign up so i'm giving test at the test.com as my email and one two three four five six seven eight nine as my password now i'm just clicking on sign up and here you can see that it is showing you are logged in and if you go inside your firebase console and refresh that page you can see the user is there so now just click on logout and you can see it's working perfectly now try to sign in with the same username and password so just give the same username password and click on sign in so it's not working right let's figure out that error so if you go inside uh, app component.ts file and inside that on sign in method i have written the service method wrong so you need to just write sign in so refresh the page and here uh, if you just write the same email id and password and click on the sign in button so here it is you can see the result so that's it for today hope you have enjoyed this video please click on the subscribe and like button if you really like my video thank you Thank you.